tonight's live broadcasts from the last night of the proms. It's rollover night in the National Lottery in half an hour here on BBC One, right after Big Break. It's only a game, so put up a real good fight. I'm going to be snickering you tonight. I'm famed for my aim, so you better believe I'm right. I'm going to be snickering you, snickering you tonight. Big break! Ladies and gentlemen, please meet Jim Davidson. Evening all now, don't turn off till we turn on, because tonight I'm determined to get some money off of Virgo. Yeah, do you know how frugal he is? Frugal to a fault. Well, he's the only man I know who has his suits made with rubber pockets so he can take soup home from calves. <laughs> Here he is, a frightfully frugal John Virgo. I'm raring to go, on with the show. Oh, good. Want to part with a few quid? Good night, everybody. No, 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 no. All I'm asking you to do, dead simple, pot a red ball, any pocket you want, ten quid if you can do it. Oh, I love a challenge. Flash the cash and I'll give that ball a bash. Give it a belt and you've got the gelt. Come on. <laughs> now. What? Aye, I what's this? Ah, ah. <laughs> this is the latest thing for the kids, you know what I mean? It's the uh, new mini snooker kit made by them very clever Japanese snooker firm, Take a Mickey out of Ergie. <laughs> Them nits go nuts for natty tackle. <laughs> Who wrote that? Go on. I can't pot one of these little balls yes, with my big can. masculine hands. Never mind that. So you're turning down an easy tenner. You're forcing me to do something very, very silly. Yeah, said that to a registrar once. How are you, mate? Fine, thanks. Barry, you indeed? you're from down my old stamping ground, Torquay, aren't you? Indeed. And whereabouts do you live in? I live in Brixham. Brixham. Mm. Have you tried a pub crawl in round Brixham Harbour? Very difficult, Jim. Yeah. Very difficult. Thirteen pubs. <laughs> I might have it twice once. <laughs> I'm not that brave. <laughs> didn't you tell everyone you were just telling me in makeup? You did a, a charity swim, didn't you? I did, or indeed. Come on, come on, Val. Well, I conned everybody in the pub to sponsor me to swim across Torbay in November. Which is what, about six mile? Something like that, yeah. They all thought I was mental. But I had one up on them. I raised two and a half thousand for the children in need. How'd you do it? I got a skip and I filled it up and put it on the back of a low loader. And we called around all the pubs on the way and everybody gave me loads of money. With you splashing about in the Indeed, skip? in the back, yeah. <laughs> OK, there we are, Barry. Red Bull, John. A young man who's been a regular on Big Break, making his way right up the rankings, he's going to be number one soon. Peter Ebden! Yes. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. Hi, How are you, mate? Not too bad, thank Not you. Not too bad. What about this? Have you been down to Torquay? Uh, no. There used to be a bit of snooker, cos who lives in Brixham? Your old mate, Ray Reardon. Ray Reardon. John, Ray Reardon. <laughs> Our red team, give him a nice big clap. <laughs> Where are you from, Paula? From Chalkwell, Essex. Oh, Chalkwell, Essex. Yes. That yes, doesn't sound like you. an Essex accent. <laughs> accent, does it? That's Paula. And what do you do in the travel business, or you were, weren't you, Paula? I am. I work for French Railways. Do you do the tunnel? I've been in the cab of that term. Um, you're a star. Mm. Up the front with the driver. Doing what? Well, I don't know. We didn't do much. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely worth a go, though. The old French railways. Definitely. There we are. A plug for French railways. Monsieur, le bol de bleu. <laughs> well, this is a good choice. He's not from France. He's from Wales, and he holds a record in Big Break for red hot. Ooh. It's Paul Davis. <laughs> Thank you. 
Been to France? Uh, once skiing, I think. Yeah? I didn't see a lot of France, just a lot of white stuff. If you win tonight, might get a couple of free tickets from this lady here. <laughs> French railways. Most people fly, but I suppose if you get skint, you've got to go on a train and close it. <laughs> Keith. Hi, Jim. Got wheels, mate? Yep. Great. Is that the permanent one, or have you got one of the old go-faster, five-gear, super-deluxe CGT? Well, run them over if they get in the way, well, mate. I run them all if they get in the way of this one. Now, you know, the stickers. Oh, blimey, where's that accent from? Um, Northumberland. Northumberland? Mm-hmm. What, uh, what town? A little place called Bedlington. Bedlington? Yeah, oh. ex and village, which is... Well, there wasn't any mines left, just a village, you know. No mines left? No. Just a village? Yep. 27 pubs? Um, actually, there's quite a few pubs on the <laughs> <laughs> Just a wild guess. What do you do with yourself, Keith? Do you, do you get involved in these uh, wheelchair things? Yeah, wheelchair sport. I'm yeah. involved deeply in it. Are you? Yeah. Well, it's uh, good because uh, people shouldn't just pack up because they're sitting in a wheelchair. There's lots of things to do. What do you normally get up to, Keith? Well, I compete in any type of sport, anything that can be adopted. Yeah. Like a wheelchair, any, any sport that this, an able-bodied person can do, I'll have a go at if I can. Oh, I've even, okay. I would have a go at it. Yeah, it's here to me, you know. <laughs> You're doing a, a course, aren't you? Well, I'm studying for my master's degree. I've got my Bachelor of Science honours, so I'm going for a master's degree now. Is it a, particularly, a particular subject or...?